Well, here we are. Here we are again. Welcome to my arty hearty life and my arty hearty vlog. Um, we're back with this painting I'm working on of this gorgeous llama called Gertie, and I am now going to start to actually paint. I woke up this morning quite excited to come back to this, but then I procrastinated for most of the day because I'm a bit intimidated about the idea of actually. Um, putting some paint on the canvas but let's see how it goes I am just going to do some blocking in so I'm going to put some yellow ochre and some burnt sienna on my palette plus some black and some white and see what happens there Yeah, not much in that one, but hey-ho, just about got enough out. So that's what that looks like. This is a little Ikea children's plate. It's very useful. Uh, right, what brush shall I start with? Let's start with... I think we'll start with this one. It's about three-eighths of an inch, I'd say. Uh, flat brush. And you know what, I think I'll put my glasses on. Okie doke, so a little bit of yellow ochre, burnt sienna, a little bit of yellow ochre, and doesn't really matter what these colours are coming out with to start with because I am just blocking in. This brush is way too big for this bit, but when I picked this brush, I was thinking of the rest of it, so. Doesn't really matter though. Let's just get some colour down, and then when we actually come in with some more layers, we'll work, work out. Exactly what's going on with it. Do you know what? I'm going to paint in the whole of the body area. Like a kind of a warm up. Although I'm not being precise with any of it, I'm tending to stay just a little bit inside my chalk lines because I can. because I don't want to see any hard lines at the end of it any hard like that way sort of lines i just want to see fur lines of fur but for starters let's just get this filled in with some sort of a tannish color Now I'm working this all out as I go along. I'm no expert in constructing a painting from scratch. This is a new stage for me on, in my art journey. So that's why I was so intimidated about coming back to it. I mean, painting from a tutorial under instruction from an art tutor, I find to be, um, it, it comes quite naturally to me to be able to do that. I, I feel like I do it quite well. But when I have to actually start to make the decisions myself, then, um, then it gets scary. Right, let's put a little bit of, it's a little bit of black into some burnt sienna and paint that. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna swap for a smaller brush. This is silly. Let's get a smaller brush. Let's go for one about half the size. So dip it in my water. And then I'm going to take this bit of paint off of here because no sense in wasting that. And then stick that in the water. 
I'll leave that there just for a minute or two and then I'll give a give it a wash out. Right, that's kind of what that area is going to look like. That a little bit of wash out and then I will paint in some whitish stuff just to get a feel for where that those areas are. This is kind of like just sketching again in paint, just adding a little bit of some sort of baseline colour, but it's not going to look anything like this when it's done, because every bit of this is going to be painted over again with much more, much more focus on what the colours are and what the, what the look of it is, what the shapes are, what the lines are. But this is, it really is very much sort of underpainting or base coat. Just keep looking back to my reference image. Just to make sure I'm getting the idea. Quite sure why I just did that, but what the hell? I'm not talking much am I? Okay so possibly this is going to be a little bit boring. Um, I don't know, I don't know what to say. Uh, explain a little bit about my ethos for what I'm doing here. As I said I'm, um, I've been, I've been painting from tutorials following various art teachers instructions in particular the art Sherpa Cinnamon Cooney and finding that I can get on quite well doing that uh, but I need to get better at designing my own paintings and producing my own thing. Um, I have also, I've been running paint along with me workshops uh, at Your Space Sutton and more recently on Zoom because of, because of 2020 being what 2020 is. Um, so, and I've been paying a license fee to the Art Sherpa to use her designs in these. And at the beginning of this year, I decided I would give that a go because last year I had been just using my own designs and struggling to come up with things regularly enough to be able to, um, advertise the event and get people interested so I thought well, if I use Art Sherpa designs then I know they're great paintings and I, I mean I love her style so it's 
really seemed very natural to do that. Um, and it kind of shortcut the process for me because the designs were already there ready for me to use. Uh, but unfortunately, because this year we've just we've had lockdowns and social distancing and everybody being strapped for cash and nobody wanting to go out. Um, it's really scuppered the whole process. Now, my thought at the beginning of the year was I would give it a year and see how it went. And maybe in that time I would build up a, a bit of a body of work of my own stuff. Um, and then at the end of the year, see if continuing to use Art Sherpa Designs for that license fee was going to be a good idea or whether I should switch to my own stuff. Um, unfortunately, because 2020 has been what it has, I simply can't afford to be paying the license fee. I've lost money um, and I've sort of debated over whether or not to continue paying the license fee or whether to cancel it a number of times this year, but not been able to make a decision or got around to actually taking action. But it's come to the point where it's I'm just not getting enough business for online Zoom paint along sessions to cover the to the cover the license fee, so I'm just gonna have to stop. So when that runs out in a few weeks, I will be just working with my own pieces. So to that end, I decided, right, I've got to come up with some. So I'm utilising any art references that are available for free in order to come up with some designs. And sometimes, like this one, it was it's almost exactly the same as the photograph. Well, what I'm painting at the moment is almost exactly the same as the photograph. I don't think, once I've worked on it and refined it, I don't think the finished painting that we do in a workshop is going to be, you know, a photo rendition. I think we're going to do something a bit more whimsical, maybe something like the, the Highland Cow. In fact, it might make a very good companion piece to the Highland Cow that we did um, last, last December, in fact, it was. Yeah, I think this would make a really nice companion piece to that. Once I've but but for practice, first of all, I'm painting a relatively true to the photograph piece. Um, and then I'm going to see what I can do with that to make it more workshop friendly. Because in, in workshops we have we have about a three hour time limit so there is a limit to what we can do, how much we can do and how much we can refine anything that we paint. Um, so yeah, that's where I'm going. I'm trying to develop my own paintings based on whatever references are available to me um at low or no cost and i mean who knows we might come back to doing some art sherpa pieces once the world opens up again properly but for the moment with all the uncertainty and the uh how slow business is because of all the uncertainty it's just not practical to for me to be paying that license fee for that so i am here learning how to develop my own paintings um working out unfortunately i'm not having to do too much working out of the composition because i'm using some really great reference photos but i'm working out transferring that onto the canvas um, as you see primarily using gridding and then how to work out what paints to use for it 
Now Trish, who works with me at um, when we do the paint alongs, uh, she does that voluntarily. She is wonderful. She helps me with the paint alongs, helps me with setting up, with clearing up, and is a wonderful um, source of inspiration and support. And she said to me, with acrylics, which I mean, she's completely right. With acrylics, you can work. You work often work from dark to light. But somehow that doesn't seem quite intuitive to me. So I'm doing a mixture. So I'm sort of doing, in some parts I'm doing an underpainting. And then I'm planning to come in with whatever dark bits go in there. Followed by whatever light bits go in there. But we'll see how that pans out. Um... I think I'm kind of developing the lines and then I'm going to refine the colours. Over that. That might work, it might not. As I say, I'm learning here, I'm developing. And I think this is actually quite a big step to be taking, to be moving away from um, painting other people's designs under their instruction. I mean, I could have, if, if it hadn't been for coronavirus, I could have stuck doing that and stayed with that as my business model. But it's actually really exciting to think that if I can develop my own works then I'll be able to sell them for more as well and maybe actually become a real artist in the process. Thank you.